Good afternoon. On behalf of President Garcia, myself, and all the faculty, staff, and students, and particularly our scholar athletes, I want to welcome you to this press conference that marks a new beginning, a continuation of a fantastic legacy and a commitment to athletics here at Cal State Fullerton. President Garcia and I are committed to the work of this athletic department. We are thrilled, thrilled to have the fantastic coaches and student athletes that we have here. We are more than thrilled to have our phenomenal athletic director, Jim Donovan, who you will hear from next. And we are more than thrilled to have this opportunity to make a mark with our student athletes and with this community more than anything. These two gentlemen are going to lead Titan basketball to a new height, new beginnings, new horizons. So it's my honor and privilege to introduce our new women's head basketball coach, Darren Park. He was an associate head coach at USC, assistant coach at Cal, associate head coach at Louisiana Tech, assistant head coach and interim head coach at Maryland, assistant head coach at Utah, he has 14 years of overall coaching experience, 10 of them at the Division I-A level, four of them as associate head coach or interim head coach. He did a great job in his interview. I, I would sum it up as saying he's an excellent technique and skills coach. I'm very, very excited to be here. It's his time. He's worked for this all his life. I know it's a special day for him. Head coach Darren Park. I can't even begin to tell you how humbled, how honored I am to be here with you today, to have a chance to build something so special here at a university that's in such a technologically rich and culturally vibrant metropolitan area in Orange County. You have dreams, um, you have realistic dreams, and then you have wild dreams. And never in my wildest dreams could I have envisioned uh, something as special as I believe this journey is about to be uh, that, that we're about to impart on. We're going to play hard. You know, we're, we're going to play incredibly hard. Um, we're going to play with an incredible amount of energy. Um, and, and I say we, I don't mean that. I mean they. Because I will never set foot on the court. I'll never be able to put the, the ball in the basket. I tried in ninth grade and got cut. Um, and there was four teams I could have made and I didn't make any one of them. So I learned very quickly that I needed to instruct people on how to do things. They're going to play hard. Uh, they're going to be enthusiastic. Uh, they're going to play smart. Uh, and the most important thing is they're going to play together. But I know one thing. We're going to make this campus community incredibly proud uh, that we're affiliated with them. And it is, it is absolutely our mission to ensure that uh, Cal State Fullerton women's basketball has an excellent place in this campus. The hard work and, and the energy and the enthusiasm that you'll see on the court can only happen because of what we do off the court and how we carry ourselves in the classroom and how we carry ourselves on campus and how we carry ourselves from the moment we get up to the moment we lay our heads down on our pillow at night. And that's the one thing we talked about was every single day, no matter what, the stamp of this program will be, we will get better every single day individually whether it's on the court, whether it's in the community, whether it's in the classroom, because if we get better every single day individually, then collectively as a team, we're going to be very, very, very uh, fun to watch and, and um, exciting to represent this, this, uh, this university. I can't end this um, without acknowledging my family. Um, I wouldn't be here without them. Um, my wife Laura is sitting over there, my son Dylan, and my daughter Riley. A coach, yeah. Um, Laura's been with me from day one. And as Jim and I spoke, you know, this has been the dream. And this, everything that I've done and everything that I've worked to do was to try to prepare myself for this opportunity. And to live with a coach, a coach's wife, is a, is a very, very special, special job. And she does it with absolute class and grace. And I thank you um, for being here. I thank you for everything. I love you. And we're so, so proud to now have our family be a part of the Titan family. Go Titans. 
I think it's it's um, it's something everybody you know it's under a, a, a subtle fact, but we have two associate head coaches here from the Pac-12, and I think that speaks volumes about what people perceive where Cal State Fortin Athletics is going. Um, the next individual that I'd like to introduce is Diedrich Taylor, the associate head coach at ASU, and also assistant head coach there, assistant head coach at Nevada, assistant coach at Portland State, assistant coach at Loyola Marymount University, assistant coach at UC Davis, overall 13 years of coaching experience, all at the Division 1A level, five years as the associate head coach at ASU, he hails from Pomona, he's coming home. He had a phenomenal inter interview, full of energy. And at the end of the interview, he left most of the selection committee with goosebumps because he said in closing, this is my destiny. I'm coming home, I'm gonna lead this program, and we're gonna go places. And we're so very pleased to have someone of his character and to have him come back home. Diedrich Taylor. Really appreciate everything. Looking forward to working hand in hand with the administration here and the rest of the people on campus to put Cal State Fullerton as a university as well as an athletic department on a, on a, on a different stage, on a stage that's never been seen. And the only way that we can do that is everybody is on one accord and everybody is moving forward in the, one, in the same direction. And that direction is graduation and winning basketball games. And I'm looking forward to being a huge part and teaching life lessons through this game we call basketball. It's taken me across the world. I've met people that I didn't even know obviously existed, but opportunities that have come because of this game, I'm anxious to share with the young men, the young men that we'll encounter with on a day-to-day -day basis, not only just on our team, but in our community. A big part of me being excited about having a chance to come home is because I represent the local community here. I'm from here. I grew up playing open gym and this this gym right here I spent my summers trying to hone what really small skills I had in this gym and this place has always been special to me because of that our style of play everybody wants to know what are you gonna do how are you gonna play well guess what we're gonna get up and down and move around we're gonna have some fun we're gonna try to play as fast as we can play good I don't want to be a bunch of wild banshees running around out here but I want to get up and down the floor I want to have our guys have to understand that the first six seconds of the shot clock is theirs. If we rebound and defend, I'm giving them six seconds, all of it, to go and get a quick bucket. If not, we'll do some things different and I'll control the next part of the shot clock and then the last part of the shot clock, we'll put guys in position that we, we think can have success in putting the ball in the hole at the end of the day. We want to play an up-tempo style. I'd like to thank, once again, my family who's here, my mom and my dad, Obviously, I wouldn't be who I am without you. Jim mentioned my destiny. And as a young man coming from this area, obviously you're aware of the different universities and educational opportunities, but I've always felt Cal State Fullerton was something significant to me. I didn't understand why growing up. But when the job opened, I was excited about the opportunity to just come home, be around my family, spend time with my nephew, spend time with my friends and family who have supported me while I've been away from here. But it wasn't until the morning of the interview, a friend of mine shared a clip that brought clarity and purpose as to why I wanted to come home and gave me responsibility as to why I was coming home. And that responsibility is to walk out in the community and see a young man or a young lady who's sitting in the situation that I was sitting in 20 years ago trying to figure out if they were going right or left, didn't know which way was up. But I need them to know that 20 years ago or 25 years ago, I sat where you sit and I had the same questions. What's gonna happen? And I need to tell them, I need to walk into their life and allow them to see that greatness is upon you. It's imperative that you make the right decisions, that you try to do things the right way, always be respectful, and unbelievable things can happen for you in this world. But if you don't, if you underestimate how important your character is, how important it is to be a good person, it's a hard mountain to climb. But I need to be able to go out in the community and beat the bushes and allow people to see me and see success. And not just success, but greatness, because it is up on us. And it's coming full force with Titan basketball. 
My, my academic um, resume, I have to credit my parents because my dad's a longtime uh, educator. My mom is a former English teacher. Uh, my dad is a retired, just recently retired educator, and he's carried every title from administrator to coach to anything you can think of. And so that's all I knew was education. Um, I didn't have much of a choice in terms of getting a degree, whether it be high school. Um, and so that's the same thing that I carry and the same expectations. I got a master's degree because I was trying to be a professional student. I had no idea what I was going to do with my life. But now I understand why I got it. I understand why, why I went through the process. And it's because I need to, when I was coming up, having a college degree made you a little bit different. Nowadays, having a master's separates you just a little bit. And they need to understand that education is the only way to, or not the only way, but one of the pertinent ways to success. And it's important that they understand that without any academics, there's nothing you can do on this floor. There's very little you can do in life. As far as our program is concerned, character is something that is extremely important to me. Very important, and I'll never sacrifice character for anything else. Going to class, being a good person, trying to do what's right, those are things that are important. And I think if you live by those three tenets, you can have a long, successful life. And for us, moving forward, academics is going to be something that we have to wrap our arms around and understand that Cal State Fullerton doesn't stand for anything less than your best in the classroom. You know, I, I would like to build, build um, from the ground up, but I think it's imperative that we try to be as successful as possible, as quick as possible. And I think right now, everything is on the table. Um, trying to create a hodgepodge of, of, of talent immediately. We have some opportunities to affect that. Um, I'd like to build it through high school and supplement it with junior college players and prep school players and transfers. But the beauty of, of Cal State Fullerton is because of the, the, the latitude academically, you can appeal to a bunch of different players from all over the world. I grew up on the Lakers. And the Lakers played a pretty fast brand of basketball, and it started with the defensive effort. And I think what I'd like to do is get up after you and pressure the ball and, and really try to take teams out of their initial op options. If we can do that and make them go to their second and third option by, by being pressure-based, physical, and move, I think we'll be able to affect change on, on our style of play. But defensively, I want to be man-to-man. -man. I want to press. Um, I'd also like to employ a, a zone defense that we can do a, a bunch of different things with. We can extend it and press out of it. Um, but I want to be based on man-to-man, -man pressure, fundamentally sound defensive principles. I just want to say to my son, welcome home, and I love you. <laughs>